How you doing, Fight Fans? I'm here with Stuart Little and Mali Bangwe. We're going to discuss Mayweather's next opponent. Um, apparently, by all sources, that it's going to be um, Amir Khan. And um, so we're going to get straight into it. Stuart, what's your take? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I don't mind the fight, actually. I mean, I know a lot of people are criticising it. and um, I'm not saying Khan has a chance, but he's going to bring something different to the table. To the usual um, Floyd opponent, and it's going to be see, it's going to be good to see how Floyd copes with it. I mean, he's got very good hand speed, Amir Khan, and it's hard to count a punch when you do it right. But the problem is he stays in the pocket too long, and Floyd's just the best counter puncher in the world. So, you know, I can see why people are upset, thinking Khan's chinny, and you know it's not going to last long. But Floyd's not the best puncher in the world. You know, let's let's not get, let's get this straight. So, you know, it, it could be an exciting fight, but obviously. I'll still have to go heavily with Floyd on that one. Okay then. Mali Bangwe, what you what's your take? Floyd Mayweather all day, baby. Um just uh I I know that, yeah, I actually agree with Stuart. Everyone is calling the fight off, saying it is a crazy fight. I actually think, yes, it is really one-sided. But when it comes to what's going to happen inside the ring, people, they do confuse this fight um, with um, Amir's Khan's fight with Danny Garcia, for an example, be it um, um, Peterson himself, too. What people need to understand stand is uh, Mayweather is none of those guys those guys are heavy punches and um, his fight with um, um, with with Khan Mayweather it, 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 it will be different than those fights because Mayweather is not going to come in there crack him with one left hook and the fight is over you know that's, that's not going to happen yeah. what exactly. I see in that fight I see a lot of, of volume punching coming from can but you know what um and um, that's the only thing I mean everyone will have to agree with me if Khan had to win that fight you'll have to come with those large volumes of punches but one thing we need to expect as well we must not say Khan was not himself if that fight happens because Mayweather can tame him you know when a fighter is throwing so many punches to you and you've got the excellent timing and you throw a jab in between four punches that discourages the fighter and he will end up throwing low punches and it will be Mayweather's game and when all of a sudden will say nah man it was not Khan it was not his day if he continued doing this and that so yeah um i definitely think that mayweather will will win the fight it will actually be a um for me it is sort of like just a fight to keep himself active and um the fight it makes sense for me if it is in the uk by the way fuck the shit of las vegas um <laughs> if mayweather wants to do that fight then he must go to uk because he, this fight he better it needs to get something out of it if this fight Fight is in America, man. He ain't gonna get much, you know what I mean. But in UK, you know all the who, what do you call them? Euro bombs. <laughs> 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 Everyone, man, will sort of like support that fight. So yeah, that's my take. Okay, then. Well, my, well, the way I see it is that Floyd, um, and in, in this point in his career, there's not many opponents for Floyd to face, um, and who can really generate the most like pay per view buys and sells and stuff like that, and Floyd's probably looking on on, on, on that side because obviously to make the most money that's why he changed the name to Money Mayweather rather than Pretty Boy so he's all about trying to make that money and, and Amir Khan brings a, a, a decent amount of crowd and a decent amount of buys and things but at this point Amir Khan hasn't looked too good in his last opponents a lot of um, experts i.e. The Wire has put tips that Khan is a very difficult opponent but as we can see right now Khan is, is, is struggles in his, is, with some of his opponents and um it's, it's 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 one of the ones that most people are upset with it. But but the thing is, people Marjorie, is people understand is that there's not many other opponents who are going to bring anything to the table that people actually know about. Amir Khan is a known guy. You're right, Malibunga. A fight in the UK would be great for for Floyd and for boxing fans. You know to get to see Floyd over here. Um, you're right in the states. It'll just do. I don't know if it will do that well, but in, in over here in the UK, I think it would just sell out straight away in a, maybe a Wembley Stadium um, type of fight. People, everyone, I think everyone will come all over to see that fight. Um, it's 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 just one of them fights. So as the fight they start building it, it might build up to something. But 
as it stands at the minute, they're not of a valuable opponent. So we'll see. Um, that's our take on it. Uh, anyone else going to say anything about it? Anything else? Um, I'm good. Yeah, like I said, I know people are upset, but I think you made a good point, Errol. Um, you have to have you have to bring something to the table to fight Floyd Mayweather. You can't just be a good fighter. You've got to have some sort of fan, some sort of backing. And you've got to bring money to the table. I mean, Floyd is a businessman first, then a fighter. So, <clears throat> so Amir Khan has a big big backing in Asia and the UK. And um, I still see why Floyd took the set, um, the fight, because it does make sense. But obviously, um, not many people give him kind of chance. Okay, then. All right, then. Malibango's already signed out on that. And um, I, I've got no one to say. So, let's talk about who would win. <laughs> uh, Malibango, who you got winning? Did you know him? What's that? you got Floyd, right? Yeah, I said Floyd. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, you've got Floyd. Stuart? Um, Floyd Mayweather by a late stoppage yeah. I just think he'll, he'll end up getting to Khan in the end yeah. Khan makes too many errors he stays in the pocket too long and he leaves his chin in the air when he's throwing combinations and they're the worst things you can do against Floyd Mayweather so, but Floyd's hand speed is going to um, sorry, Amir Khan's hand speed is going to cause Floyd some troubles and it's going you know, to be exciting at times but I just think uh, Floyd's going to wear him down by the 10th and, and probably stop him like he did Han 10th <laughs> yeah, round yeah I've got Floyd winning um, a late stoppage as well a late stoppage or it, it could go to points it depends what Floyd it's, this is all about Floyd it depends what he want to do but if he lets it go um, to you know, he's going to get some serious criticism because they're going to say oh Danny Garcia and um, and Peterson and the rest of them yeah but I think Malibongo made a great point you know Floyd Mayweather's not Danny Garcia when it comes to, to punching power I mean, you know, Danny Garcia comes in the ring at 160, 165 pounds. So a lot, he's a lot bigger than Floyd when he comes in the ring. Big lump with a massive punching power. So it's, it's, you can't really go by what Danny Garcia did because Floyd's not going to do that. But I just think Floyd will catch him and I think he'll wear him down. I think he'll just get him out of there like he did Hatton. Just wore him down in the end and then just picked him off. Well, well, Floyd. When Floyd went against uh, Victor T, Victor T was almost like a light heavyweight, and body body mass doesn't really. Been, but you're talking about speed and speed is power, and the, the speed of Floyd hitting you is enough to enough to tear him off. Because a lot of the opponents Floyd faces, they don't just come in on him easy because he stings them, stings them enough to back them off, and he goes at one. Yeah, that's it. He definitely got the power to to back them off, but uh, yeah. he hasn't got. Um, knockout power. No, no, I, no. I agree with you. But what I'm saying to the accumulation of of the speed hitting you yeah, in the face is enough. To, right. It's enough to deter any any fighter. <clears throat> and someone like Amir yeah, Khan. I think. I, I one minute, one moment, Belongo. Um, enough punches. Floyd starts hitting Amir Khan's chin. Like he'll start dizzying. But this is this is all about Floyd. He, he's really about Floyd more than Amir Khan. The criticisms yeah. will all start coming in. It's like, why would you? Because the thing is, yeah. To be honest, you no one really wants this fight, but. On a business level, this makes sense. But really and truly, stylistically, people... Uh, it's a good fight stylistically for fighters, but Amir Khan is, is, is a bit shot worn. But what people don't really want to see this fight. I've, I've put this uh, poster up in, on one group and people are disgusted. They, they, they're, they're just cussing the fight all over. But I got Floyd winning um, either by knockout or your nice decision. So that's just me. Floyd's got... Um, Malibango, you want to add something else? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know... Um, I've got all Mayweather's fight, I've got his career, I've got his a bunch of fights as well. If the guy chose to hit harder, if 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 he start, because the, the the guy is, is he is all about being safe. He's all about defense, even when he's attacking his opponents. Because you need to understand when you when you are a big puncher. I mean, you can talk about Ron Lyle, you can talk about George Foreman, you can talk about fucking. Um, Mano Di Pietro himself, all the heavy punches had to expose themselves when they are hitting. Um, and, and that's the thing about him. I, I mean, if you, I don't know if you guys saw the, the interview of Shane Mosley, and Shane was actually saying that, you know what, this guy hits hard. He might not be a cracker because, you know, in his back of the mind, he, he's not trying to crack anyone. He just wants to get paid. Mm. So that's all he does. He gets in there, 
very damn exciting or not exciting it doesn't matter for him he is basically making sure that he is sustaining um the level where he is which is winning regardless all he does is just to win so um I think I really think that when it, when it comes to him versus I mean look at the opponents the last time Mayweather fought the guy that in any case would knock him out it was Shamba Michel everyone else he fought afterwards had the threat of knocking him out uh, knocking him out mm -hmm. and um looking at at um, Eric Khan I mean he's not gonna get in the fucking shit scared that oh shit this kid can throw one punch and knock him out I think he'll be he will, he will he will sort of like give it more he will he will he will sit more in his punches and he can he can really knock him out mm. oh yeah definitely he can knock him out and i think he needs to knock him out i mean brand uh manny pacquiao on his last fight with brandon Ruiz, he's got a lot of criticism because uh because of the buys and stuff like that that he, he could have stopped um brandon Ruiz, but he didn't choose to and um, they're trying to they're, they're questioning whether he's a people who star but I've been saying it in the country, Floyd against Robert, against um, Guerrero. Floyd, you know, Floyd got a lot of criticism of that, and you know the bite, the the pay per view sales wasn't that good. So maybe you know both them guys, they I think they need each other. Bottom line, I think they need each other. Manny Pacquiao and Floyd should should that should be the the main attraction. But as it stands, you know, it's not going to happen. So the best second best fight. This ain't even the second best fight. This is like the fourth or fifth. But as a minute, it's going to happen. Um, Amir Khan and Floyd, hopefully. And um, so we've got it you by your nice decision. Mali Bangwe, Stuart and me, obviously all of us picking Floyd. Um, leave your comments underneath and um, we'll catch you back on the next fight. Alright, peace.